Brenda Pino. I'm a senior manager of the North American Physical Channels team. Around 2012, I started experiencing a little trouble walking or standing for long periods of time, and I was eventually diagnosed with severe degenerative arthritis. To be honest, there was a fear that if I started using a scooter or a walker that I would be viewed differently by my colleagues and or bank management. But the pain got so bad that I had to make a decision. And I have been now on this scooter for about 10 years. And I have to be honest, and I'm so proud to say that there was really no change in how my colleagues or bank management viewed me or how I did my job. In fact, I travel for BMO across the US and into Canada with my scooter independently, and I have not had any problems or concerns. I was a special ed teacher before I became a banker, so used to dealing with people with disabilities. Now that I'm on a scooter, I'm much more conscious of the needs and challenges that others might be experiencing. In fact, shortly after this facility opened here in Naperville, I was here for a session and discovered that the soap dispensers in the washrooms were not reachable by people in wheelchairs or scooters. The bank immediately rectified the situation and moved the dispensers. And I know that that discovery was a catalyst for future design decisions. In 2016, I was approached to help expand BMO Without Barriers into the US, already existing in Canada, and I jumped at the opportunity. As an employee resource group, we help raise awareness of the barriers and challenges that our customers and our employees might experience when trying to access our facilities and or our services, and for employees just doing their job. When we first started, our mission was centered around physical or visible disabilities, but we had to expand and also include now non-visible challenges and disabilities. We also connect with organizations outside of BMO. We bring in their experts to network with, to share information, and more importantly, to bring forth resources that they might have that our employees might be able to take advantage of. This helps us to stay very connected to what is actually happening and the needs of the disabled community. And that is how we boldly grow the good.